Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, My Kind of Budget. My name is Christina and this is My Kind of Budget. First things first, I apologize for any noise you might hear in the background. I believe my cats need to use the restroom and if you own one or two cats, you know that sometimes they like to run around the house crazily before they go and take care of their business. And that's conveniently um, when I decided to film. So yeah, that's happening. And it's taken a lot to get to this point because I've made or tried to film this video several times now and your girl was working harder and not smarter. I would start filming and then realize I didn't do something. So I'm pretty sure at this point I'm able to film all the way and post because I am super behind, okay? So go ahead, show your girl some love and like this video because the struggle is real. In my other attempts to film, I did all of my binders at once and the video was way too long. So I've decided to refilm and split them up. This video, we're gonna be focusing on the sinking fund binders. And then my next video, we'll do the saving challenges binders. So let's get into it and go in this high priority sinking fund binder. So this is my high priority sinking funds binder. The theme is black and gold. Um, and I can't remember if I said this in the first part, but basically for me, high priority means every paycheck money needs to go into here. And that's for me. Don't know about anyone else. But for my budget, these need money unless they're, they've already met their goals, which is the case for this first envelope, car and renter's insurance. Um, car and renter's insurance, my goal was um, $500 and that's what it has in there. I've already met that. Ooh, um, this is my cat, Chato. <laughs> and I just made these little placeholder bills um, with my cats on there. This is the one that's not acting up right now. It's the other one, Pancha, who's knocking stuff over. But yeah, I was able to meet my goal for car and renter's insurance early. Um, my goal is typically $500. Last year, it was $500 for car insurance and I think $120 for renters. They were in two separate envelopes. This year, I decided to combine them and just have an overall goal of $500 because I haven't had to pay that much yet and I hope not to. Um, I believe in September my premium was around $330. I anticipate it to be probably closer to $400 just because insurance companies just increase rates every year. That's what they do. Um, I will not be paying more than $500. I don't even want to pay $500. If that's the case, your girl will be looking for somewhere else to go and starting over. But um, yeah, car and renter's insurance is good to go for March 1st when uh, my premium is due. I pay the full amount so that I don't, um, or so that I can take advantage of the discount for paying it all at once. So that's car and renter's insurance. Next, we have emergency fund. Last year, my goal was $2,000 and I was able to do reach that by my last paycheck in December of 2023. This year, I only plan to save $1,000. I don't think I need any more than that. I actually don't even think I need 1000 but that's what we're going to do. I made this savings challenge. I know I don't have an Etsy shop yet, but I'll let you know when that opens. Um, this one is set up to follow a bi-weekly schedule in a way. There are 24 icons, um, and I believe those of us who are paid bi-weekly have at least 24 paychecks a year. Um, I get 26, um, but yeah, there are 24 icons. I have, with $1,000, I was able to divide it up into these amounts, and with 55 being the highest, there are three fire icons, so I only have to worry about doing $55 three times, which is really nice um, and manageable for me. Um, 
savings. Last year I did $1,000. This year I will also be doing $1,000. Um, and I think I'm doing a savings challenge. I am. Um, this is another one that I created um, that I might make available on my Etsy shop or whatever I decide to do. Um, this one has 26 coins to follow my 26 paychecks. Highest amount being $60 and lowest being 20. I believe my challenge last year that I made had a high of 65. And really the 60s are tough as well, but anything over 50, I think it's a little hard for me sometimes. So I, I must have rearranged these to make it to where I can have the highest be 60. Uh, Cause I wanna say last year, my lowest was around like 15 or 10. So we'll be working on this this year and you'll see me work on this um, in the cash stuffing video in a few videos. Next is Christmas gifts. And I think, did I make this before we had a talk? I talked with my family to see if they actually didn't want to do Christmas gifts this year. Um, and rather we do a family trip. Everyone seemed to be on board, but I'm the one who will probably stick to that and they may, I don't know, change their minds later. So I'll have to ask them again in July. But the goal for me is $500 and that's either going to be used for gifts or a family trip. I don't know, maybe I'll still just save it for a trip and do something myself. I don't, I don't know. I, I'm really not into gifts I would rather be with people I love and make memories together so we will see I don't think I'm no I think my oh wait this has money in it so I did start already last year for this and I think I figured it out to be $20 per paycheck starting December 27th or something like that so Christmas gifts already has $20 and I guess this would be a good time to tell you that yes, your girl will be using prop money this year. Um, I got this idea from Jerry at over at One Frugal Introvert and I stumbled across her channel probably a couple of months ago and I saw that she was using uh, prop money and I'm like why 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 I'm just trying to think about it watching more videos and it just totally makes sense all of this is going towards saving anyway or savings anyway so we might as well capitalize on it and just have this money in a high yield saving a savings account I don't know if that's what Jerry's doing but that's what your girl is doing and so I could be making money while saving so I have opted to use prop money for the stuffing, uh, envelope stuffing um, for most of my binders. There will be some where, I mean, all the binders will be getting uh, stuffed with prop money and the real money will either be in my high yield savings account or my checking account, depending on how often I plan on accessing it. This is one of the ones that will be in my high yield savings account. Um, so yeah, Christmas already has 20 birthdays, I believe also already has, yeah, $20, um, birthdays, pretty self-explanatory for birthday gifts that I also plan to use this for things like Mother's Day or Valentine's Day, things like that. Pilates, Pilates is in high priority because I absolutely love Pilates. I've been doing it for about two years now, I think, and I have see we have one two three twenty three hundred and twenty dollars in the bank right now for pilates and i believe i've set it up to have 160 in my high yield savings account just on reserve so that i always know that i have at least one month that i can still do um for pilates in case anything were to happen and i have the other 160 dollars in my checking account um, for when the membership fees come and this one, I believe I usually do $80 per paycheck to go in here. And um, yeah, it's Pilates. Uncle Sam, AKA Taxes. 
did I have anything in here? I do. So I still have the money that I have put in here from last year from my side income. Um, so any Amazon Flex or DoorDash, things like that. I set aside 35% and reserve it for taxes. We'll see if I owe anything this year. Ideally, no. I did do like a preview thing and incorporated the extra income and it still looks like I'm going to get money back. So hopefully I have um, this money that I can keep um, and it has right now uh, $2,200 in it. This is my other bill placeholder. Um, this is Chato. This is the one creating havoc out there right now as Pancha. Um, so yeah, hopefully I get to keep this money and maybe use it for a debt or travel or something because that's a lot of money. Um, next, and I believe this is my last folder or envelope, yeah, is EL. EL is my boyfriend. Uh, I decided to give him his own envelope this year. Hi, babe, if you're watching, love you. <laughs> And this is just for whatever I did tell him about this envelope. And he was asking like, what is it for? It's for gifts or when you come out here. Um, it's for anything involving him. I just wanted him to have his own um, envelopes. My family has their own envelope. And yeah, that's, that's that. And then I have some extra ones here um, in case I decided to add anything else for high priority. I feel like I probably should have put treat myself in here um but it's not for now so there's high high priority binder let's go over and do the regular I might have to give her a name the regular sinking funds binder so rose gold is the regular level sinking funds binder um I really had a fun time making this one um the cardstock that I got was from Hobby Lobby, I think, and it just fits perfectly with this rose gold theme. And your girl is not a pink, a pink girl at all, um, but this is cute. She came out cute. Um, and this one is, has a lot of folders in it, or why do I keep calling them folders? Envelopes, has a lot of envelopes in it. The first being travel. Um, I haven't explained, I know I did in my other attempts to film this, but um, travel is a very big part of my life. Uh, right after college, uh, I went and moved abroad to Asia and lived in different Asian countries for about 10 years before moving back to the United States back in 2021. Um, and still like during my time abroad, traveled to way more a lot of countries and I'm still traveling my job that I have now does involve me having to do some work um, travel and actually have that coming up which is why I really need to get these videos out but yeah so this envelope is for personal travel not work travel I like to give $50 per paycheck for travel right now the rollover is um two hundred and fifty dollars i know some people count i'm i'm it might take me a little while to get used to like counting the money but if it's easy i can see it's 250 dollars um so that is in i believe my high yield savings account because i don't have any personal travel planned until february and may um so yeah, we'll just keep adding to that before we need to use it. Cats. I got two cats. I've already talked about them several times now. Um, right now they have $20, $40, $40, and that is in my checking account. And it's for anything like food, vet, kitty litter, whatever. Next is medical. Medical I primarily use for my prescriptions. I will also use it for a copay if that's required. I recently got a refund for one of my most recent doctor visits uh, for a copay. 
And I'm not going to argue with that. I'm not going to call and ask like, hey, did you guys really mean to do that? It's money back and I'm going to keep it. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so this one I think is also in my checking account and I just had a dentist appointment uh, and I have to go get my root canal or crown thing fixed and that's going to cost me $500 with insurance and so right now this has one two three four fifty four fifty and I need fifty more dollars to be able to pay that bill and I think I need to pay it by when is my next I have to go in twice so I think it's sometime in in early February that I will have to pay for that so yay I'm very thankful to have health insurance but even then like it's just still a lot y'all it's a lot next is car miscellaneous this is for anything involving my car tabs um tires servicing car washes whatever this is in my savings account. I got new a set of new tires last year. Um, my car just got an oil change, I think a month or so ago. So she's good to go for a while. What I'm saving for now are my car tabs, which are due in June. And I believe for me, because I have the state parks plates, it's around a hundred or so dollars and I think my goal is around 150 because I would love to get the two-year tabs versus the one year and I hope that it doesn't cost any more than 150 dollars um, right now car miscellaneous has 50 70 80 dollars and so we're we're almost there we have a lot of time to get to 150 but yeah month ahead after I made this envelope, I kind of didn't want it anymore. Um, I feel like if, I don't know, I don't need a month ahead. I feel like it would be nice, but in the end, I'd probably just use my emergency fund or a credit card. I don't know. What are your thoughts about that? Please share in the comment section. What are your thoughts on the month ahead envelope? Do you feel like it's good to have would you use your emergency funds for it? I don't know. I was thinking maybe rather than month ahead, doing something called year ahead. And that's not to cover all of my expenses for the next year, but take care of something. Like if I don't have to worry about my electricity or my phone bill or Wi-Fi bill for all of 2025, like, I don't know. I would be very grateful for that. Like... I don't know. What are your thoughts? Should I keep it or should I change it to year ahead? Let me know. But yeah, nothing is in here now because this is a new envelope for me. Clothing. Um, it's for clothing. And I'm saving up to buy some new summer or warmer weather clothes. I live in Minnesota and we have winters for about six months starting around October going into May or April but right now um for clothing I have 50 70 90 dollars and I don't have a set goal for that it's just for whatever I can get and I will probably go to like a thrift store or Goodwill um to buy some new clothes or new to me clothes treat myself I hope to do better with this this year even if it's like treating myself to some frozen yogurt or to a movie or a getting my nails done I don't know I did not do a very good job of taking care of myself and treating myself last year so um I don't know that's why I was saying maybe this should move to high priority but you know, we, if you're doing budgeting and you're on a very tight budget, I think one of the things that we tend to do is put ourselves last. Um, and let's work on that. Let's be better and intentional in 2024 and beyond to make sure that we treat ourselves to something, even if it's taking $5. And if you're like me, you love going to like the dollar store or something. 
go knock yourself out and get three items or four items um at the dollar store and yeah treat yourself so that's this one my rollover right now is 10 15 16 so i have 16 dollars and treat myself and ideally we'll grow her so i can go treat myself to some more things family time uh this is for any time i get with my family and we go out to eat or we go and do something it's typically with my mom and sister um and this one the roll over is ten dollars so that's that next is small business this is a new one for me this year so there's nothing in it like i live in a city where there are a lot of small independent businesses um getting to know my neighborhood more supporting them and then also there are a ton of creators who are making budget creators who are making savings challenges i would love to support them as well so that's what this is for and i encourage you to do the same last it's also a new envelope for me because this didn't my channel didn't exist until just like a couple of weeks ago but my kind of budget envelope and yes my goal for this is five hundred dollars so this is my five hundred dollar savings challenge and i would hope to use this money to grow um i guess my small business if i decide to open up a shop um i've already created a scratch off savings challenge that i absolutely love and so that would have to be mailed physically and printed and so I want to get a, 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 a really good printer. I would have to buy materials and all that. So I'm hoping um, to save up $500 to uh, get that. So I don't know if I'll... So for digital downloads, I know I don't need the $500. For anything physical that I would have to ship out, I feel like I would need this. So once we finish this challenge is when I... We'll probably start doing the physical saving challenges. But yeah, that's it. That was the regular level. Uh, what should we name her? Because I feel weird saying regular level sinking funds <laughs> binder. Um, but that's her. Um, yeah. So that's all I have for this video. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you have any suggestions or tips on anything that might need to be improved please let me know i am very new to this type of content um yeah when i was living abroad i had a youtube channel um and when i was living in japan and so everything was face to face now you're seeing my hands and it's this it's very different um so yeah any any tips would be appreciated in my next video, we'll be going over my saving challenges binders. Um, so definitely keep an eye out for that. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.